if you always have your phone, you can always go to our website and get delicious recipes, Jorge. Yes, delicious recipes because, look, we all got to whip something up for dinner real quick, mm -hmm. especially when the kids go back to school. And while the new school year is here, and a lot of kids already are back in that classroom, Charlotte Mecklenburg students go back on Monday. And after spending the day working, taking care of the house, helping kids with their homework, spending a ton of time in the kitchen might be the last thing you want to do. Uh, good news is you don't have to. Chef Craig Barber is the owner and chef of Roots Cafe and Roots Catering. Good morning to you, Chef. Good morning. Uh, before we get started on all this delicious food, tell us uh, all about Roots Catering and Roots Cafe and what you guys provide for the community. Uh, Roots Catering started in 2015 after our food truck, which we started way back in 2011. Mm -hmm. um, we're just right around the corner here. We do lots of corporate stuff, weddings, little private home things. Um, come to us with anything. We could probably help you out with it. Um, Roots Cafe is over in South End, um, kind of uh, off of South Boulevard across from Atherton in the Dilworth, on the Dilworth side of South Boulevard, open 7 to 3 every single day. Very good. And look, time is money. So uh, a lot of the times, like I mentioned, it's busy, busy, busy time. Whether you're mom or dad and you're making dinner, um, you want to throw something together and throw something together that the kids will actually eat. So what do we have in front of us? All right. So what we did, what we did was I braised this one piece of meat, one chuck roast, put it in the, in the crock pot, start it in the morning while the kids are and everybody's getting ready. Yep. Throw it in the crock pot. When you get home, it looks like this. It's ready to go. You can shred it up. Now what kind of meat is this? This is a chuck roast. Chuck roast. Now, could you do this with any meat or just with chuck roast? Um, when you go to the grocery store, you want to find a piece of meat that says for braising or stewing or something like that. Okay. It usually says in the package because uh, you want a good bit of fat in it. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to break some of it up and we're going to put it in. Once you have this cooked, these three dinners require zero cooking whatsoever. All right, so you're showing us three different meals with uh, really one big piece of protein here. Now, when you're shredding that up, you, you mentioned putting it in the slow cooker. A lot of the time when you put it in the slow cooker, it's already falling apart. Is there a certain uh, heat or time that you want to have it in there for? It depends on your slow cooker. Sure. I have a very, very, very old one. It mm -hmm. has off, low, yeah. high. Same, same. That's <laughs> so, mine. I usually start it on high, and then um, right before I leave for the day, yeah. turn it back to low, All and right. then when I get back, it's perfect. Perfect. So we got some of the shredded beef with a little bit of the juices in there. And so the first just, one we're making is what? These are going to be Korean barbecue tacos. Okay, and what so is that? store-bought Korean barbecue sauce. Easy enough. Goes right on there. Store-bought bagged salad. Store-bought ginger vinaigrette. Easy enough. That goes on there. Ooh, ginger vinaigrette's one of my favorite. What's the that's what are the vegetables in there? Uh, there's some kale, um, carrots, red ca or purple cabbage, and some red peppers. Mm. So again, this is no no cooking. And once your meat has simmered in here a little bit, you'll just take one of these guys and put it into the taco. Store bought shells. Yep, store bought shells. Easy enough. And what, then uh, do you want that to simmer, slaw. boil, anything? Um, if it's coming out cold, yeah, you're going to simmer it for a little while, sure. get it nice and hot, but it's already cooked, so you're good to go. Right. Um, and then the other one we're going to make is a nice, easy, sort of shredded beef sloppy joe. Sloppy joes. I haven't had sloppy joe since I was like 11. So you take this meat, mm -hmm. shred it up right into the sauce. Okay, what's in the sauce? I have no idea. Well, even better. <laughs> so store-bought store -bought. Um, uh, sloppy joe sauce. You can make your own. You can look up recipes for them. Um, but this is designed to be something that is quick, easy. You get home from work, kids get home from school, and you just dump this can into a pot, pull a piece of this out of the freezer or wherever you have it, and then all I did was throw some veggie chips on a plate. Sure. Throw and some similar to the bar Korean barbecue, just let it simmer. Just let it, it simmer. Okay. Um, I threw some raw carrots on the plate. I feel like whenever, uh, whenever I try to get my kids to eat vegetables. It's mm -hmm. got to be some sort of little crudite type of situation here. Sure. So a little bit of pickles and stuff like that. So that's a super easy. Again, I didn't cook anything right. for, this, for this plate meal. Right, you just it, basically. Exactly. The and only then, thing you cook really was throwing this, this guy into the slow cooker at the very beginning. Yep, and then Smart. the third thing yeah, is come on over. chili. Chili. So now tell me the process of chili, because chili usually has several ingredients in it. So this chili recipe, which uh, you'll be able to find online, um, just took a piece of the shredded beef, uh -huh. it went into the crock pot, okay. and then some raw onion and raw bell pepper, some spices, um, 
a couple of can can of tomatoes, can of um, kidney beans. And you put that where? In the crock pot in or you put it in the pot? In the crock pot, cold, mm -hmm. no sauteing, searing anything. It, no. Turn yeah. it on when you get home, bust all the meat up with the with the tongs, and then your chili is good to go. Now chili, uh, I love my chili with everything on it. Uh, what do you have on top that we can that you plate? We've got with? some green onions, a little bit of sour cream. This is Ash County cheddar that I just grated up on a uh, microplane. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do. Yeah. So it's three Easy dinners, enough. one piece of meat. I saw you dicing some limes. What's that for? Uh, for your tacos. Hey, 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 you even got fancy tacos with limes. I like it. You can do a little bit of lime. Yeah. You can get some peanuts and throw them on there. So if you want to get fancy, you can. Yeah. Here's the question, though, the really hard one, and it's the last one I'm going to ask you. How do you get your kids to eat something if they're used to eating the same thing all the time? Well, so the best thing about this is you can cook this piece of meat, question. cut it up, put it in the freezer, uh -huh. and then this is your, like, at least one night a week. You're like, all right, we're going to pull a piece out. We're going to use it for this, pull a piece out, use it for that. Yeah. I can't cook thing. I can't do the same thing three times in a Right, they're exactly. Oh, Unless it's pizza. Oh, yeah, they'll always <laughs> say yes to pizza. Your information up on the screen so people know how to get a hold of you guys, your website, as well as your Instagram and social media handles. Uh, thanks so much, Chef, for stopping by and giving us these great ideas. Remember, folks, you can also download the QC Kitchen app for all things that we do here in the QC Kitchen. Which one of these three dinners do you want, Kristen? I mean, they all look really good. That was a really brilliant segment, but I think I want to taste the chili with some cheese and a little bit of sour cream. Can See, you I'm make more that on happen? the Korean taco. Get, then we're style. not going to fight over food today. Easy enough. <laughs>